What's up, everybody? Jesse 97 here. We're going on the Xbox 360, the fucking cool shit. Not that Xbox One trash. We're on that 360 grind. And to get this out of the way, I don't know why we have to say anything. Because this game, easy as hell. Avatar, The Last Airbender, The Burning Earth. There's literally, like, no guide for this at all. So, whatever for the outro, I'll try to do for the intro. Because, um, I literally don't know what to say. This game is 20 fucking dollars. Get it when it's on sale. Or find a disc if the disc is, like, on sale. I think I got this around, like, a dollar. Maybe a little bit more. Somewhere around that range when it was on sale. Make sure it's on sale. It is backwards compatible for Xbox One. No, so if it's not on sale on the 360 deals with gold, it might be on Xbox One. There's only five achievements worth 1,000 gamer score. What do you do? All you have to do is get that hit counter up. Yeah, all you have to do is just spam buttons. The only problem is if you do get hit, which I will show in here, and I made sure to mess up at times too to show you proper things to do on here. But if you do get hit, your counter will reset. It's basically like until you get hit. So when you get in a game, you make a new game, you go into the game, you get your first amount of enemies. Do not worry about them. You can get at least 20 hits on here, but it's basically just nonsense. You're not gonna be able to get all the achievements with them because there's no way to do so. What the thing is stupid about the game, every single time when you defeat these enemies, you basically have a black screen and your counter resets. That kind of sucks. But right here is where you want to actually get your counters. You can do the X, but I recommend you just staying still and pressing B and trying to aim at the enemies and make sure you're far away. Just so you don't go into them and you have like almost 50 and you basically get that counter restart so if that does restart just quit out of the game and you can just load into the game or just make a new it doesn't matter what you do as long as you basically keep attacking the hits aren't even that hard your other character yeah she's probably gonna be a good impact to go in front of the enemies just so they don't come after you so you can hit them it is going to be a little bit difficult just because some of them want to be invulnerable or they want to somehow magically like dodge your attack somehow or you hit them and somehow they hit you and it restarts i would say do this in one go if you do get hit you might as well restart the highest i got which i was Pressing B was 84. You could technically restart it. I guess it all depends on how much you did. And once you get your counter to 50, you're good. You got all the achievements, 1,000 gamer score, five achievements. I feel like Nickelodeon knew that their games were probably gonna be bad if it wasn't SpongeBob, and even then they had shit games for SpongeBob. So that's probably why Avatar is like this. They're like, yeah, we'll just get your achievements out of the way right now. You don't have to deal with anything, and then basically just you can still play the game. I technically did just because I guess easy gamer score. The price for that, like, come on, dude. Like that is not even. A challenge for $20. I don't even know where you even get that like statistic from. But anyways, that's basically it. Like this video if you liked it very much. Press the dislike button if you're a dick, but you're gonna be secretly a dick. So that's fine. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Jesse M187. Never touch an avatar again because um yeah. At least with the other games you technically either had to complete or your near completion. I don't know what the fuck this one was even thinking for 20 fucking bucks.